Here's a quick video on how to set a static IP address to your computer's network port. I have a desktop computer here with a network card in the back, a hardwired network connection. And this is Windows 10. First thing I'll do is right click and open Network and Sharing Center. I'm right clicking on this network icon and clicking on Open Network and Sharing Center. Then go to Change Adapter Settings right click properties on your network card you may have another Wi-Fi entry in here under network connections or you may even have two hardwired network ports in my case I only have one right click properties do this for the network adapter you'd like to change the IP address for now locate internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Click on Properties. Once you select it, hit Properties. In my case, I already have a static IP address entered. This is what it should look like. I selected Use the following IP address and I typed in the IP address I want to assign. My router has an IP address, which is the gateway of 192.168.1.1. I will also set that as my DNS server, as you see here. Subnet mask is usually 255.255.255.0. And then my IP address is 192.168.1.16 that I have specified for this computer. You may want to set it to 200 if you have several computers on your network and then you would hit OK and press close and then to see if your changes have applied and you have internet access right click status it will tell you on under IPv4 connectivity if you're connected to the internet or not under details will tell you your current IP address which is .200 if you'd like to, to put it back to where it was before to automatically get the IP address from your router or DHCP Right click properties. We'll do the same thing again. This time we'll tell it to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Press OK. Give it a little while. It's going to identify your network and once it gets a name for the network, right click status and then go under details and you'll see the new IP address it fetched from your router simple as that. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments? Use the discussion box below the article.